Hello everyone, my name is Superkrachte and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at my newest set. This is the Yiro Tank Destroyer, another Japanese um, project tank if you want to call it that. So let's first, as usual, get the history out of the way. Um, this is going to be a very short one because we don't have much on this tank. <laughs> so what we know is that this vehicle, this project, was, uh, was part of a project that turned a Type 95 Rogo which was a heavy tank, into um, SPGs, self-propelled guns. So there were two models. The first one, experimental 12cm SPG. It was a, there was a, a shortened naval gun on the, the Rogo chassis. Open-topped, very simple. This one, however, was going to be in complete casemate design with a 105mm Type 14 cannon. Now we don't, at least I don't know for sure if this vehicle was built. The only um, photos I've been able to find are blueprints. No actual historical photos, sadly. So this is a little bit of a mystery vehicle. But honestly, um, it was actually a lot of fun to design this one. And let's actually go into the next phase, which is the design. So on the blueprint photos only show a side profile, like this. And then there's a sort of a cross... Um, cross section of the vehicle there's also one photo which shows it from the front but then with completely curved and rounded designs but i don't really know where that one came from i don't, I don't know if that's the real design or not i believe that was more of a um, a post-war drawing of what it maybe could have been so i actually took the liberty of making some of my own little designs for this so i could have just made it a box with the slopes these two slopes being correct as on the uh, blueprint but instead i thought i'd make it more of a more, more of a six-sided square if you want to call it that so i've got these two plates right here in the front they are curved sideways same goes on the back it just sort of adds more depth uh, more depth and more um yeah, there's, there's more more better looking lines if you ask me the earlier version was really just a box and well it looked like a box and i, did, I didn't quite like it that much so this is where the uh, the second version comes from now the set itself is 21.1 centimeters long which is um, 8.3 inches it is 11.2 centimeters wide which is 4.4 inches and it is 9.6 centimeters high which is 3.8 inches now, I did a little checkup to see what uh, the price for all these bricks would be. And this is excluding the tracks. Keep that in mind. These, these tracks are custom-made tracks. Um, these are one and a half stud wide. They fit really nice to, uh, for these sets. And you can either have Brick Mania or Blue Bricks tracks. They uh, both work. But for the tracks, you'll need 130. Again, um, oh, sorry, you'll need 130... Um, 130 blue bricks tracks because they are slightly longer than brick, uh, brick mania but if you use brick mania you'll need 134 but to be honest one and a half stud wide tracks they'll all work but when it comes down to the price for the uh, lego bricks um last time i checked it was around 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 105 euros which translates to 124 us dollars so yeah it's a bit on the pricey side again also due to a certain colors or certain bricks that are being used in this set. I uh, I always try to stay away from rare colors, but I can't always do it. You can see these little bricks right here. These are not available in, uh, or, or plates, sorry. They are not available in tan, green, or reddish brown. So I had to go for, what was this? Bluish gray or bl bluish green or something along those lines. Um, it's not the most common color in the world, and there are in total, I think there were six of them in here. Yeah, there are some other ones that uh, like all the way snuck into there. But yeah, they are needed to make the shape as accurate as possible. I tried other wedge pieces, but none of them looked as good as this. And to be honest, I quite like the... Uh, I, don't, I forgot the color, but I quite like this color. It suits well with the overall camouflage uh, design. Now, now that we have the overall price and dimensions and all that stuff out of the way, let's look at the set itself and let's actually start with the outside features. So we've got the main gun, this moves from the left to the right. Not a whole lot of movement, but then again it's a casemate um, tank destroyer, so what do you expect? The gun can also move down, not a whole lot, <laughs> and but it's it can mainly go up. But when I look at this tank, I, um, I sort of envision it as maybe sort of a artillery vehicle role that was really needed the 105 millimeter gun could maybe pull it off so yeah it goes up more than it goes down but you know it is what it is oh no <laughs> all right cut the video 
<laughs> all right we're back um don't don't go too crazy with the gun that was honestly one um, one of the bigger struggles was trying to get this gun mantlet to look as good as it did but oh well um but honestly i prefer looks over um overall strength now I'm sure you, you need to have a, a certain amount of strength I and mean, this gun does have it but don't go too rough on it now what we have as well are two hatches on the front so this will be one hatch for the uh, for the driver and one for the well it's not a machine gun probably a radio operator but yeah it's still based on the type 95 rogo so two people in the front if you get a minifigure and you put the uh, the arms up you can just drop him in and there he is there you have your uh, yeah driver the driver's on the right side in this thing now we also have a hatch right here on the top you can open that one up too and then exactly the same as the driver just grab a minifigure put the arms up in a sitting position you can drop them right in so you can have a total of three minifigures on the outside if you want i only have two <laughs> I, I didn't bother to buy any more maybe i should one day but oh well but yeah you can have three of them on the outside or you can just decide to have only two whoops i closed it too far we'll fix it in just a second and then you can just have the yeah the crew member sitting outside now let's go to the next phase which is the interior so first thing, if you want to take this vehicle apart, you grab this section of the superstructure. This whole thing can just come off. There we go. Next thing, we have the gun, of course. If you want the gun off, you can just grab this um, large stud. And then, last but not least, we can grab the entire front section as well. There it goes. So let me fix this hatch real quick. There we go. So interior, what do we have? Of course, this is the mount where the gun goes on to. The uh, turntable is on this thing itself. Here we have a little bit of an engine. I remove the bush. Stay on there, please. So a little bit of an engine. On the other side of the engine, I've got this brick with um, studs on the side. I sort of look at these as, um, what do you call them, as am ammunition racks, quite like that. Now, these two um, bricks with tires on the top, they are actually what keeps the minifigure from sitting... Uh, from sitting too far down so that when you put them through the um, hatches they'll be leaning on here keeping them at a uh, correct height now i also have this this is again a little bit of a upper structure so if we get the gun back then we get a minifigure you can have yourself a minifigure sitting behind the gun and again brick swift studs on the side just to make it um look look like an ammunition rack now, when everything is off, of course, the gun can rotate all the way around. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm showing this. It's not really needed for anything. The gun itself, um, it's pretty sturdy, actually. Right here in the middle is a hose. I think it was eight pieces long or something along those lines. Nothing too fancy going on there. So let's put everything back together. Now, also, the front section here, you can see there are some hinges on the back here, which um, <coughs> gives it the vehicle a unique slope. So this entire piece is um, put onto the other one. There we go, very simple, just pops right back on. The um, rear superstructure, you can see a little bit of the mantlet design that I had going on here. So I've got these uh, simple pieces, a two by two corner with a one by one, and then a one by three plate on it. And then here on the inside, we've got a brick with a stud. You just put that on there and put it at the correct slope. And that sort of makes the gun look more tightly packed in there. Now one last thing we can also do is we can get the roof off. Easiest way to do that is uh, from the inside. It's kind of always the, that way. The roof is not the most sturdy thing in the world. So there we go. Yeah, roof, very simple. Has the uh, hatch on it as well. Yeah, and what you could do is you could now put this back in here. Let me get the slope right. There we go. And then we can put a minifigure inside. It's not a whole lot of room for them, but it does just fit. The roof does not fit with the minifigure, though. Let's uh, keep that in mind. But yeah, if you want to play around with the sets a little bit, you can do it like this. If you want them to really fit in, I guess you can put them in a sitting position. That he does go all the way in. Well, maybe maybe remove the helmet if you got ones with uh, helmets on. But yeah, that is about it for this um, for this Lego set actually. So this vehicle actually completes the Type 95 um, heavy tank family. So at least I know of three different projects. That is, of course, the original Type 95 Rogo, which I have right here. 
And then, of course, the other um, SPG variant of this family, the experimental 12 cm SPG. So here, let me zoom out a little bit. Here we have the entire family of the uh, Rogo tanks ready. <laughs> so this is sort of my um, my way of going forward. When I make one vehicle, for example, I've made the uh, Chiri. Um, I have plans to make all the other variants of the Chiri. So I'll, I'll be going into the Hoi tank destroyers. Maybe even the, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the vehicle. There's uh, a really large amphibious tank based on the Chiri chassis. Like when I have div when I made a chassis, like I've made the Rogo, why why would I stop? Why not build all the other variants of them? And honestly, it's a lot of fun actually. So now I've got this whole um, family done. I'll be putting them in my room somewhere if I have the room. <laughs> Problem is when you're making all these sets and building them in real life, everything starts to fill up very fast. Anyways, that will be it for this video. Um, as always, if you like my work, I have a Patreon page. Uh, link will be in the description box below. Be sure to check it out. The uh, lowest level of um, subscription is 5 euros. I don't know how much dollar. I think that's like $5.50 or something along those lines. But if you, can, you can, of course, go higher. You don't have to. But if you want to support my work, really, um, thank you very much. When you support me on patreon i post uh, work in progress stuff there so sets i do not show to the outside will be on there so if you want to see what i am working on you can go there too also something i'm slowly diving into is um what do you call it again uh, i completely forgot the words Ah, requests, that's the word. <laughs> English, very difficult. But yeah, um, I'm not doing it a whole lot yet, but I have had some requests in the past from uh, one Patreon supporter too, actually. And yeah, if you want to request me to build a certain set, I will put it on the list. I do have a list of all the sets that I am planning on making. But keep in mind, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to prioritize any sort of request over all the sets that I'm already working on. So I am a bit busy with all these sets. So I, I'm taking it easy with the request. I'm not going all crazy yet. I'll say no if I really don't have enough time. But yeah, that should be uh, enough talking for now. The video should be long enough. Anyways, I hope you all have a nice day. Be sure to check out the Rubricable page of this set or check out all the other sets. If you... If you have a friend that really likes Japanese tanks or really likes the obscure prototype vehicles, be sure to send him this. If you have a friend that likes Lego, please send him this. But yeah, that'll be it. Um, thanks to my Patreon support for supporting me. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.